Okay, the doubles plus minus strategy for addition. So the doubles plus minus strategy for addition is a great strategy, but it's also a strategy of opportunity. You can only use it with certain sets of numbers, right? Just like you can only use the make 10 strategy with basically numbers that are like 9 or 10 or maybe 7 that are close to making 10. Again, doubles, most of the time where it's appropriate to use the double strategy is when you're adding two numbers that are one away from each other. Let's take a look at this one. This is a very easy problem. And this isn't even really a problem you would use the double strategy. It's just this is a, a problem where everybody will know the doubles for it. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, we have three plus two. Now we know we can count on by ones and it's five, but we're going to take a look if we use the double strategy, okay? So before you can use the double strategy, you have to one, know your doubles and understand what the term near doubles means, okay? So if you're using three plus two, you know you have a choice. You can either use two plus two. And what that means is you're changing the problem from three plus two to two plus two. But if we change the problem to 2 plus 2, are we going to be one less or one more than the actual answer? And we're actually one less, so we're going to go ahead and put a plus. So we know that the double of 2 is 4 plus 1 would be 5. Now, say we choose to use the 3, right? If we use the 3, we know that 3 plus 3 is 6. Now, again, we change the problem from 3 plus 2 to 3 plus 3. So we're now going to be, um, we're going to be, we're going to be greater than the answer by 1. So what do we need to do? We need to go ahead and subtract, and we know that the answer is 5. Okay? Go to another easy one, okay? 5 plus 4. Again, this is a fact a lot of you may already know, and you know that it is um, that the answer is 9. But we're not focused on, you know, you knowing the answer. We're focused on you using this problem that you probably already know to use the double strategy. So let's take a look. If we're going to use 5 plus 5, are we going to be over 1 or under 1? And we know that we're going to be under, so 5 and 5 is 10 minus 1 would be 9. Now, if we use the double of 4, we know that we're changing the problem from 4 plus 5 to 4 plus 4, so we're going to be under the answer by, or under the answer by 1, so we're going to go plus 1. So either you use um, 5 plus 5 minus 1 or 4 plus 4 plus 1, you get the same answer. All right, let's go to some harder ones now. 9 plus 8, we have a choice. What is the near double are we going to use? Are we going to use 8 plus 8 or are we going to use 9 plus 9? If we use 8 plus 8, we've changed the problem from 9 plus 8 to 8 plus 8. So are we one less than the answer or one more than the answer? And we right now are one less, so we would do 8 and 8 is 16, 1, 17. And remember, for this strategy to be used, your students or you have to know your doubles. If you don't know your doubles, you're not going to be able to use this strategy. So if you're trying to teach this strategy, while teaching them their doubles at the same time, you're almost wasting your time. So it's take some time, teach the doubles first, and then go ahead and worry about the plus or the minus. All right, if we use 9 plus 9, we know that that is 1 over what our answer is. And so we're going to have to subtract, and we know the answer is going to be 17. All right, let's take a look. Go ahead in your head now and decide what one would you use if you were going to solve this problem. Well, we'll start off with 7 plus 7, right? We know we're 1 under. Plus 1, 14 and 1 would be 15. And if you um, if you used 8 plus 8, we know that we're 1 over. We'd have to subtract an 8 and 8 minus 1. And regardless of which one you use, it is the answer, 15. All right, 6 plus 7. Again, decide what double you would use. All right, let's take a look. If we use 7 plus 7, we're going to be over by 1, so we'll subtract. And if we use 6 plus 6, we're going to be under by 1, so we will add. And whether you use 7 plus 7 minus 1 or 6 plus 6 plus 1, the actual answer is going to be 13. 6 plus 5 again. 5 plus 5, we're under 1, so we have to add. 6 plus 6, we're over 1, we'd have to subtract, and the answer would be 13.